everyone, this is Snola. In this video we're going to take a closer look at JBOD. And uh, JBOD stands for just a bunch of disks. How does JBOD work? Well mainly it is a combination of multiple drives as one volume. And advantages of a JBOD could be less drive waste than RAID 0. If you have a lot of different drives uh, when it comes to capacity. Here's an example. If you have a 250 gig and one 320 gig and one 500 gig drive and you wish to set them up as a striped array in RAID 0, uh, the total capacity of that RAID array would be 750 gigabyte because it is the smallest drive that uh, makes um, the limitation of uh, the RAID array. So you have uh, lots of drive, lots of drive uh, waste. If you put up the same drives in uh, JBOD or JBOD, you will have the full capacity of 1,070 gigabytes. Uh, disadvantages with uh, JBOD is that you have no increase in uh, performance uh, when it comes to read and write speeds and you have no redundancy. Um, here's an example we have our uh, three hard drives one uh, 250 gig, one 320 gig and a third drive which is 500 gigabyte and we have uh, the controller, it says RAID here, it doesn't have to be a RAID controller, it can be uh, some uh, disk utility in your operating system that offers you this, uh, this JBOD function. Uh, when these three drives are combined, they will be presented to the operating system as uh, one volume of 1.00 terabytes. Uh, let's see how uh, data is is distributed through the array. First we get a set of data from the operating system and the RAID controller or the JBOD controller takes that data and writes it to disk number one. We get another set of data and the controller takes that data and writes to disk number one. And a third set of data, controller writes it to disk number one. Now let's say for this demonstration that disk number one is now full. I know it's only three bytes, but um, <laughs> let's just say for the demonstration. When the operating system then wants to write another set of data, uh, the controller will take that and write to the next available disk, which is disk number two. And it takes the next set of data and writes to disk number two. And so it goes. New data is being written to disk number two. And more data, the controller takes it, puts it on disk number two. And for the sake of demonstration, Let's say disk number two is now full, and we get a new set of data from the operating system, and the controller puts it on disk number three. And so it goes. And as you can see, uh, the disk controller is only writing, and also, of course, when you're reading the files, only reading and writing to and from one hard drive. So even if you have three drives, you only get the performance of one drive. And here we are done with the writing of the data. Now, what happens if hard disk number three suddenly dies? Power failure or whatever. Uh, of course, the data on the disk disappears. And therefore, that data in the virtual volume, which uh, was the data from disk number three, is also gone. And actually, in a lot of cases, uh, the entire JBOD array 
will not be fixable. So it means that you lose you lose every single bit of data that is in the JBOD array. And that's a, that's bad news if you have a lot of valuable data. So in, in this case, all your files are gone, and you have a really really big problem. A certain user on YouTube here, a Mac user, he posted a video uh, where he was uh, boasting about how his Mac Pro could um, hot swap disk drives and rebuild and such. But um, actually, I want to say to that user, uh, you should really read the help file of Disk Utility. As far as I understood, from your video and a couple of your other videos, you are using JBOD and you don't have an uh, extra RAID controller. And it seems from your video that you think that if you take out one drive and put in a new one, which is blank, that uh, the Mac Pro will rebuild the data that is on uh, your JBOD array. And that is not correct. And if you look here, I took some uh, liberty to cut and paste what's in the help file for disk utility. OS 10 disk utility help about consonated disk sets. You can create a single large disk from several smaller disks by creating a cons. I don't know what how to pronounce that word. Concatenated disk set which is also called just a bunch of disks, JBOD, or spanning. The, cons <laughs> the concatenated disk set acts as one large disk with the combined capacity of all the smaller disks. You can increase the size of a concatenated disk set after it's been created by dragging more disks to it using disk utility. And there's some, some more info over there, but at the bottom of that page, there's a very important line for you there. Be sure to back up your back up your data frequently. If any one of the disks is damaged, you will lose the data that's on all the disks. That means, Apple Soldier, if you pull out that drive and you put in an empty one, you will lose everything on your JBOD, JBOD array. Um, for me, that doesn't seem like a thing I would brag about. Uh, I would rather, with the price of hard drives a day, I would buy two one terabyte drives and put them in a RAID 1, a mirror, because disk utility can mirror two drives with the software. and if you do that, you will actually be protected against hard drive failure, which you are not at the moment. So, that's all folks. Hope you enjoyed my videos. If you like them, please give me some stars. Have a nice day.